hello everyone and I welcome you all to a new series on blue codes and in this series we would be solving problem solving questions on hacker rank this is the first video of the playlist so I would only be giving you a brief introduction of what hacker rank is and um, what can you do on it so it's uh, it's basically a coding platform where you can uh, learn you can practice and you can solve all sorts of uh, problem solving questions to practice your coding basically also you can compete in a lot of tournaments if you want with other people so here I am on the main website and I am already logged in and you can see that here you have all these skills you can practice algorithms C Python all sorts of different languages and stuff so but in this uh, in this series we would be solving problem solving questions only so i'm gonna go and get started let's see what we have so for now uh, we would be going step by step so we would go like from the super easy problems and initially taking smaller steps to solve more and more complicated problems as they come by so this is the first problem it starts from here it says solve me first this is the first problem I have already solved it but that's okay because in this video I would be teaching you how to how to solve problems how to think basically because I would be talking talking it out whatever I'm thinking when I'm solving a problem this is going to be a super easy one so it's let's check it out so this is the problem here it says complete the function solve me first to compute the sum of two integers if you don't know what a function is then I suggest you watch my video on functions in the Python basic series and if you already know it then let's get ahead so function prototype in solve me first int a b where a is the first integer input b is the second integer input return variables return value some of the above some of the above two integers okay so okay so this is already done for us okay yeah so this is uh, the function here which is already defined for us but you still have to write the body in order to solve the problem so uh, let me just explain what's happening so we have to take two inputs from the user which is being done already you can see num1 here we are taking an input from the user num2 here we are also taking an input from the user and then in and then we are passing those two numbers to the solve me first function and whatever this function returns we are storing that value in the rest variable and then we are printing that variable out to check its value so we are here we just have to write re return a plus b in order to add these two numbers and simply simply return the value so if we run this code and before submitting you should always run your code to see if you have any syntax errors or stuff like that so it says congratulations meaning both of our test cases are passing now we can go ahead and submit the code to see if it's working okay so it's working it says congrats and that was our first problem okay but this was like a super easy you know like you, you didn't have to do anything you just have to type return a plus b so we would go ahead and we would solve another problem so this we would be considering this this one our problem zero so this would be our first problem here simple array sum so let's go ahead and check this out okay so problem given an array of integers find the sum of its elements for example if the array is this return 6 okay so you would be given an you would be given an array and you would have to simply return the sum of the array okay easy so constraints n ranges from 0 to 1000 also the values uh, range from 0 to 1000 okay that's okay so in the first line okay so in the first line you would input an integer which would denote the size of the array and in the second line you would have all the elements of the array space separated but we are going to be using python so we don't really have to care about the length of the about the length of the array you would simply take an input and you can simply break that into a list and we'll see how okay so this is our function okay so this is you can see all this code is already written for you you can delete all this and start from scratch or you can continue writing in this one but for the for this video to not make stuff too complicated i'm just going to go ahead and delete all of this 
and okay let's see so we have to take two inputs the first line would be the length of the array so we have to take an integer input so i would say int input i would store this into a variable n it doesn't matter really because we wouldn't be using this and then we are taking another input it would be a list so this would to take a, a string input by default as we already know if you don't then i suggest you watch the videos in the python series splitting but, uh, this function would split the string into a list but it would be a character list so we would we would have to convert all the elements into integer elements so we would do that by using map int and we would convert the whole thing into a list eventually and we would call this let's call it list okay or maybe let's call it an let's call it an array yeah okay and then you simply have to return the sum of the array so that's easy i mean in python you can simply say sum array and you can simply print that out and that would that would do the thing <laughs> so if you run this code upload process you can see that it's passing if you submit you can see that it passes again okay so that was easy right but you didn't really do anything so let's say let's program this summing part uh let's try doing that ourselves just because just for our practice okay we would say for element in array and i'm gonna say i'm gonna um set a variable where i would be adding elements one by one so i would say total equals to zero and then i would say total is equal to total plus element so we would be iterating over all the elements of the array one by one and then we would be adding the value of each element to total so let's say that our array is uh, equal to let's comment it out first okay let's say that our array is one two three so we would go over one we would add it to total so total would be equal to zero plus one it would be one so total would be one after the first iteration and when then when you go again then it would be element in array second element then it would be two so we would add two to the new totals value so total was originally one so now it would change to one plus two which is three after that when you add three to it when when you go again in the loop it would be three plus three it would be six so finally the value six would be in the in the total variable which is actually the sum of all the elements and that must be pretty easy to understand okay so at the end you can simply say print total okay so let's see if it works so you can run the code uploading processing and it's working perfect submit code let's see okay so this method is also working perfect so we just solved our first problem on hacker rank not exactly the first one the second one but the problem on the first index you can say so um thanks for watching and in the future videos i would be solving uh subsequent problems one by one so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one